Thanks for taking the time to join us today. And today we're introducing the updates and enhancements to the chroma key on Mini Plus. You'll need to have Mini Plus with a minimum version of 1.23 and the companion app Expose Mini 1.0.0.9 for the minimum version. Now if you need to check your current version, go ahead and get connected with your Mini Plus with Windows or with a Mac, search and connect as usual, then press the M button and open the version info to check what app versions and firmware versions you're currently on. Software version is the app version and MCU is the firmware version. Alright, back to our Mini Plus and we can see we've got two signals connected. HDMI 1, you can see that green screen there in the background of that source. This will be our foreground or uh, pit player video. And a second source, in HDMI 2, is from a laptop. This will be our main or background video source. To set up the Chroma key, we'll need to go over to our desktop app, Expose Mini. And we're going to use the S button there, click on the FX in the shortcuts menu on the right, and in turn click the Chroma key feature. We'll turn on Chroma key. Now this enables the feature so that we can make settings that are going to be applied to that foreground to player uh, later when we turn that on. Now Chroma key source, as we saw in HDMI 1, has a green background. So we'll select that as the key color. And for now, that's all we need to do with settings. And if like us, you're using a flat, well-lit backdrop, you may not even need to adjust any other settings later. Okay, for the next step, we need to go back to the Mini Plus itself. And in this example, to keep it simple, Mini is in the default fast mode, where the output is live without any preview. Let's go to the S menu and open the PIP settings. And first, we'll make sure that we set up our source for the background. Here, we need to make sure that the last icon there is A. It says B, we can go ahead and select change that to A. That means that our source buttons will now control the background or main layer. Go ahead and press HDMI 2, which is our computer graphic, and you'll now see this on the output. Next, we need to set the video source for the foreground chroma key layer with that green background removed. In the PIP menu, the PIP should be on. Any preset selected is OK. Now, with the chroma key feature on, the PIP layer will automatically be full screen regardless of the PIP preset. And now those source buttons can be used to select HDMI 1 or our PIP layer. And there you have it, the key source is now dynamically over that background. Here you can see that Chroma Key on Mini Plus is very straightforward and easy to configure. Essentially two steps with enabling Chroma Key feature and then setting up the PIP layer to apply that to it. As you saw earlier, there are additional refinement settings. Now in our example, we've got a well-lit Chroma Key green clock and the result is great straight away. And there are many suppliers of these simple green screen or blue screen kits that can make this easy for you too. If in your own situation you see any of the key color, that's the green or the blue, or parts of the foreground that are missing, go ahead and use the refinements to adjust the color tolerance. And if you have a halo in the key color around the foreground object, this is quite common with some hairstyles, then use the margin setting to help reduce that halo and clean up the image. Okay, there you go, a simple tutorial how to use Chroma Key with Mini Plus. We've shown you Chroma Key here using the fast mode. However, you can also use the Chroma Key in the T-Bar mode. Now, while you can't see the live preview on the multi view in T-Bar mode, operation is otherwise as usual with select and take. Note also, as you see here, you can make use of multiple camera sources with the same Chroma Key settings. So this opens up possibilities of switching camera views in front of the background. And yes, you can change the background dynamically too. Thanks for taking the time to watch this short tutorial. We're already seeing a lot of great examples from the community using the Chroma Key feature. And we certainly always enjoy seeing how many Plus users make the most of their devices. As always, please keep up to date by following our social media and of course the website. Until next time, bye for now.